This time tomorrow, we will say farewell and officially celebrate the retirement of Mary Bear and John Gaughan after their 30 years of service to you, our Channel 4 viewers, and to us, their co-workers. Mary and John's last newscast will be the 6 o'clock news tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> it's starting to sink in. It is, just it's a just little bit. It's just now starting it's to sink in. It's a little pit in just, my stomach right now, to be honest with you. Just when you said that, yeah, my, my Because there's so many good people hurts. here, and, you know, when you were in television and you work so many long, long, terribly long hours, you communicate with these people all the time, so, you know. There's so many people to thank. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't really know where to begin. Yeah, but you don't Tom have time to so thank many. them now. Okay, not right now. Before then... I'd like to share with you a couple of my John and Mary memories. I want to start with some of the very first comments that former anchor Deborah Giannolis and I made about Mary 30 years ago, and we stand by them today. Mary Bear has fit into our newsroom from the first day she got here. It seems like she's been here all along. The newsroom looks forward to Mary coming to work. One of the most terrific things is that Mary always wants to know how something is going to affect people. She instinctively understands the heart of the story. So many Mary memories over three decades together, but I have one that stands out from all the rest. 2016, Hurricane Matthew was threatening us with destruction and possibly even deaths. Because of my then 41 years as a newsman here at Channel 4 and the relationship that I have developed with you, our viewers, I felt compelled to speak to you personally about the extreme dangers this hurricane posed. I want to talk to you people for just a minute, not, not as Tom the newsman. I just received on my phone a dire warning from Noah. I'd not have had a chance to tell Mary what I was about to do as I began to read the warning. She listened as I grew emotional, sharing this very troubling message. Now watch what she did. I want to talk to you people for just a minute. Not, not as Tom the newsman. We've, <laughs> we've been together for 40 That's it. years. She patted my arm to comfort me. That's Mary in a single moment. Always my partner, always supporting me. Meet someone very special. This is and just like Mary, John made an instant connection with all of us when he arrived here in Jacksonville. You can see there's a little blue diamond there. That represents hail. That like a steady breeze on a stormy day, John spent many sleepless nights steering us through hurricanes, tropical storms, nor'easters, floods, and more. We are grateful for his calm, reassuring voice. This is a very powerful storm. Most recently, guiding us through one major hurricane after another, Ian, Dorian, Michael, Irma, and Matthew. However, you should also know John has a playful side, too. My grandchildren, Jack and Adele, frolicking in front of the Weather Authority's green wall. As you can see, John put them up to it. He does this every time young visitors come to our studios. It's his joy. Years ago, I got a personal lesson on how much our viewers depend on John's every word when our area is under any tropical threat. And this was well before Matthew and Irma. We had been doing nonstop coverage of some approaching hurricane or other, which mercifully missed us. I came home at two o'clock in the morning. My wife, Gina, was still up. The TV was on. I told her how relieved I was that the threat was over. She told me that John was still on the air. So she was yeah. going to keep watching <laughs> until John went off. Who do you believe? <laughs> Your husband <laughs> or John gone? Uh, <laughs> John I, I got my gone. answer. <laughs> that is so beautiful. Mary, this was the beautiful part when you did Oh, that. I just, um, and you know, I just, we I have just a We have a partnership, you. she and I, a 30-year partnership. We support each other. We, we help do. each other. Thank you. It's a team. If Thank you've you. ever been on a team, that's what we are. We don't have helmets and shoulder pads or bats or balls. We're just a team. Yeah, it's incredible. To, it's incredible to be a part of. Yeah. I mean, I've just been honored to be a part of this team. I am, just, too. No question about it. And I would say you at home have been part of our team, too. Uh, the fact that we go out and do things and be with people and it's people that like you that we bump into in the street 
who have been a part of Channel 4 just as much as the three of us have been a part of Channel 4. We depend on your thoughts. You give us the clues that we need to follow up on. And when it comes to hurricane coverage, I, without your stories to tell me what you experienced, I, I can then take that news and pass it on to like Richard and Mark and everybody else to take that knowledge and just put it to good use. You remind us why we're here. Yes. It's, it, it's beautiful. Yeah. I just uh, thank you for allowing us to be a part of your community, our community, excuse me. <laughs> now, we want you to join us as we continue to celebrate Mary and John's time here at Channel 4. Our special Thanks for 30 Years mm -hmm. will air on Channel 4, June 8th at 7 o'clock. We're taking a trip down memory lane with some of Mary and John's best hits <laughs> and looking ahead to their futures. You'll also be able to stream it live on News 4 Jax Plus and News 4 Jax. Dot com. Of course, you want to tune into News 4 Jax at 6 o'clock tomorrow for Mary and John's final newscast. I'm recording it already. <laughs> <laughs> we'll Set. present them each with a big surprise. Mm. You're not going to want to miss that. Oh, wow. Okay. How are you feeling ahead of tomorrow? Oh, um, I, you kind of summed it up earlier. I've, you said you couldn't feel it yet. You couldn't feel. I, I'm not allowing myself to really accept that this is happening yet. I yeah. think. I think I'm starting to absorb the, the positive vibes, all the wonderful messages, and and it's just it's a such a beautiful thing. It kind of feels like a dream. Yeah, John. Uh, um, dovetail everything Mary just said because we've reached out to us every day uh, when we've been once we announce this, and it's been a couple three months now. Uh, and it's been a very, very ex almost spiritual experience for me uh, to hear your thoughts and uh, some of the touching stories that you've uh, dealt with. Tom mentioning one here, just the fact that, you know, when you're at home and the storm's out there, we're still here for you. Bless you both. And you too, Tom Wolf. Thank you, Tom. Stay with us. There's more to come. Mm -hmm. The news continues with Tarek and Joy right after the break.